you know, there are so many highlights um, from my work and my career. And, you know, uh, one of the big ones was uh, meeting Yun Mo Ping, um, the, you know, creator of the action for Matrix, right? Everybody knows him for that. And the stuff that he did was imitated for years, you know, even before he went to Hollywood, right? So, you know, he's always been someone that I, I really admired because, like I said, I don't know if you're... When I said, like, when I was a child, I used to watch uh, Drunken Master, the first Drunken Master. He was the director and the choreographer for that. So I've always been a fan of him, even before, you know, any of the U.S. stuff came out, right? So when I first moved back to Hong Kong, I was fortunate enough to be hired for a film called uh, House of Fury. Uh, Stephen, Stephen Fung was the director and uh, the star of it. And, um, and I actually worked with, uh, I actually met... Um, uh, Chan Fu, the man of Tai Chi, he was a stuntman on that too. It was before both of us really started doing work. But anyways, um, uh, Yun Wo Ping was the uh, choreographer for that movie, and it, like every day at work was was for me, I, I fanboying out, you know. And, but I had to keep my composure and just look at him like a pretty girl, like every day, because it's like <laughs> you know it's Yun Wo Ping, right? And then um, no, it was awesome. Like I learned, I mean, just even the first movie, I learned a lot from him. It was a, it was first movie with him. I learned a lot from him. It was, he gave me a lot of opportunity to fight, and had a, you know, a couple of decent fight scenes from that movie. And I'm um, pretty happy because it was pretty early in my career. And then um, I think I left a decent impression on him at that time because um, later on, uh, later on, I signed to a very prolific uh, filmmaker in Hong Kong, uh, who's also my current boss right now, uh, Wong Ting. Wong Ting. He made a lot of movies, like God of Gamblers, all those, all those stuff. But uh, he, um, when I signed to his company he produced a movie for me called um, Once Upon a Time in Shanghai. He got uh, Yun Wuping to uh, choreograph it which was like oh man oh. you know it was like a it's great and then I, I learned through my boss that you know he because he knew it was me he he um, he uh, didn't take his full fee. That's what I heard, right? So, uh, so I, I, I really appreciate him coming in and help out. And, and like when you're working with these uh, senior, when you're working with these like really senior level choreographers, you don't, you know, a lot of the basics filmmaking stuff. I mean, you, everyone knows this, right? But it's just the little fine details that that um, that that he that he comes up with that that surprises you, right? For for instance, like um, there's for, there's a lot of rules, right? And, and they're not rules, but there's things that you do when you're filming that feels comfortable when you edit it together. You know, action, non-action, you know, camera right, camera left, you know, don't cross the line, you know, all that stuff, right? But sometimes you have to break those rules. And when you break those rules in action, when you're fighting, or when you're editing, fighting together, it actually feels comfortable, more comfortable than if you edit it according to the traditional rules, right? So there's a shot where I punch a wall, I break a wall, and then um, me and the cameraman and the and the uh, and the director were, were pretty sure that we followed traditional rules, it'd be fine. But uh, Yun Walping thought a second. No, do it opposite. No, don't do it the way that you guys want to do it. Then we're like, all right, you're the master. <laughs> all right, do it. So w that was done. So we forgot about it. Then then you and then you watch the cut. Right? And and wow, that felt a lot more comfortable. I mean, it's not a big deal, but I think when you're watching masters at work, it's these tiny little details that we wouldn't think of that comes out, oh, well, that's why he's getting paid the big bucks. <laughs> so. Uh, what I got coming up next, I uh, recently choreographed, uh, I was an action director for two movies, um, uh, which will be releasing maybe later this year. Uh, I myself, in front of the camera, have a TV show coming out on TVB called, um, in Chinese, it's called Tong and Gai, which means Chinatown. Um, it takes place in uh, Thailand, Chinatown, I think in the 50s or 60s around that time. And uh, um, it's like a period piece. And it's with the same relatively similar uh, act behind the scenes and in front of the camera people as the Fist of the Four Walls. With Fist within four walls, that, that same crew. So yeah, should be should be good.